Hello and welcome back to the Blade of Akai channel. You are watching Shenzhang IO and we're back building electronic components and writing assembly instructions. <laughs> so in the last one we we did a secure a fake security camera and we also did a replacement factory module which literally just amplified a signal from one device to another. Um so now um, this please enjoy a game I wonder what this is all about uh, so this is from Jijang my daughter is learning programming she created a simple card game would anyone like to try it and give some feedback for her I put a link on everyone's desktop she is interested to become a game developer G Wow Wow J that is both a lot more polished and far harder than I was expecting your daughter's managed to design quite the challenging patience game. Maybe there could be an undo function. Uh, and she says she doesn't think it needs undo because it's actually quite easy once you develop some skill. So basically, <laughs> so basically, uh, basically, G's daughter has called out Carl Teske for being a noob. <laughs> <laughs> she really takes after you, so I, I think you took umbrage to that. Um, okay, so we have we we don't uh, objective win a game of solitaire. So oh, it's there we go. Look, so G is taking blatant liberties in installing software on everyone's terminal without their uh, without their consent. Right. Um, Okay, what are the instructions? Cards can be stacked and moved in the center of the table, but only if they are alternating, alternating suits and decreasing values. Okay, to win, stack the three suits from one to nine in the top right corner of the table. The three cells in the top left corner of the table can store one card of any type so we can shift one card when all four dragons of a single type are exposed they can all be permanently moved to an open free cell by pushing the corresponding button dragons okay I don't know how how would you know if it's a dragon or not. Anyway, so let's I'm gonna try and get through this as quick as possible because um, watching someone play Patience is probably not the best viewing experience someone could have on YouTube. <laughs> uh, no, no, okay. Um. Okay, that, those aren't doing anything. That won't go on there. I thought that would be like a one, an ace, but it doesn't seem to be. Can I? P I can't move. I can't move any of those. Why is that? Six is not going to go anywhere. I can't move that to the two. Yeah, I can't really do anything. So let's just start a new game. Um, one would hope it would tell me if if I could, if I had any moves left or not. Hmm. I think I think I'm screwed again. This is quite a it's quite a tricky game, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's get rid of that flower card straight away. Right. So I'm not going to be able to do these. Because they're all sat... Unless... Unless somehow I can get rid of these... And then... Hang on. If I do that, do that... So we've exposed 
those two. But I've got no way to... I can't get rid of this three or four. I can't get to that. If I put that there, maybe, I could put that there. Uh, see, I've got no fives, though. I can put that there. Aha! Right, well, that got rid of all of those. Okay. Now the next challenge. I need to be able to dump this seven on something. Uh, see, there's an eight sat right in behind there, which is no good to me. What if I just did that? Did that and did that. Yeah, that got rid of all of those, but I now I've only got one slot. One slot to play with. Okay. Um, so I can do that. I can do that. That gets rid of those two. Okay. We can get rid of that. And then I guess we free up some slots this way. So I can put another nine there. Um, I need to expose these things here. This is the problem. Uh, yeah, so that all moves. Yeah, so if I do that and then do that, hopefully I can get... Oh, no, that didn't really work, did it? No, I've screwed it again. Six, seven, eight. Ah, I can move that there. So I've got that exposed, that exposed. So it's just this one sat in behind here now. Do that. Um, oh, I can't move any of that. Crap. I can move that there. Move that there, then that there, that there, that there. Yes! Done it! Woohoo! Well, that took a lot longer <laughs> than I hoped it would, but there we go. I managed to solve the side game of Solitaire. Right, new game, forget that. I'm done. Here we go. But what? In English, please. What? Why are you speaking in this? I don't understand it. Okay. Well, we we had a game of solitaire, right? So next next thing, new part MC six hundred. Uh, so Ji Zhang is saying an updated supplier agreement has given us access to a new part, the M6, MC6000 microcontroller. It is much like the MC4000. The data sheet can be found with your other papers. Also, the bridge part reorder is in. The bridge enables you, sorry, enables jumping over traces, may be useful for smaller boards. This time we have many, 10 million. So there is no danger of running out in again anytime soon. Gee. Okay, so we've got some new bits and bobs. Um, 
What's this? Take an orbital selfie. Dear adventurer, experience the stars and the earth as you have never seen them before. Enjoy the surprise and delight of true weightlessness. And of course, take pictures of yourself that nobody will soon forget. Did you know that there has never been a better time to take a trip into low earth orbit? Demand is skyrocketing and prices are cheaper than ever. Now is the time to get in on this trend, which has been popularized by international superstar Cool Dad and many others. Tickets are going fast. JSC Space Adventures, Moscow. Now, if that was an email that came out of Moscow, it would not be that good English. I'm telling you that much for nothing. <laughs> there would be some issues in the grammar, for sure. <laughs> so there's a slight realism um, juxtaposition there in this in this email, right? Um, anyway, pulse generator. What is the pulse generator? Let's have a look at this thing. In order to test some of our new manufacturing equipment, we need a pulse generator with certain requirements and specifications. However, instead of buying one at the market price, I thought we could simply create our own. For this project, you will need to make use of conditional execution. Please continue your study of the language reference. Okay, well, I kind of demonstrated that early on, but uh, okay. So, Diagnostic Pulse Generator. Cha ching Right, the bu a button is a simple input connected to a button. Pulse is a simple output connected to an electronic device. When the button is pushed, generate pulses as indicated in the verification tab until the button is released. Um... Okay, so the the button the button's pressed, and this is the output that we need to to put in. Um, bridge, interesting. I guess we need one of these, right? Can I? Can I just use that? Do I need do I need anything else? So the button's pressed in you know cycle cycle increments, right? So I can say I guess I can say test greater than for P0, which will be connected to the button. Um zero if so yeah I'll deal with that in a minute thanks if the pulse is greater then I guess test greater than zero for the accumulator zero yeah if so move zero to act uh, else is that going to work else move 100 back then move back to p1 sleep one and then i hook this up is that is that going to be it oh i'm inversed <laughs> I was so close. I was so close. Test greater than 
wait a minute, what if I turned it on its head a little bit and said, let's get rid of all of this. If, actually we could just move P0 to ACK. No, I don't. Test greater than uh, zero, P zero, P zero, zero. If so, let's just move that to ACK a minute. Move ACK, move P0 to ACK. Let's try that a minute. Just, I just want to see it's not sleeping. Well, there's a, a basic fail again. Sleep one, okay. Simulate, okay. So we're now just. Oh, there's no logic there, is there? Reset. Why hasn't it done that? It said... Oh, I haven't... Right. I'm forgetting. S simple stuff now. Right. Now we need to move... ACK to P1. Right? Okay, but then it doesn't go back to zero. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I need to think about this. Test ACK equals zero. Move 100 into ACK. I'm not shoving the output out, am I? That's what I'm not doing. Move ACK to P1. Let's try that. Step, 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 step. Right, I'm not interested in those right now. Right. So that is greater than... So the ACK is zero, so we're going to move 100 to the ACK, which has happened. Now we're going to move ACK to P1. Sleep. Test greater than that, which it is true. ACK equals zero, which it is not. Move zero to ACK. Move ACK to P1. Sleep. We got it! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Finally, we got it. I think this is... I'm finding this difficult because obviously I would just write if this, that, the other and do it. And uh, you, you just don't have an appreciation for at all for what is happening down at the lower levels. And it's all sorts of this stuff. Well, I've got really nasty power usage apparently. Okay, I mean, how would you, how would you solve that, really? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dwell on it because I'm not that good at this. <laughs> yes, looks okay, suitable for our purpose. Gee, he doesn't sound that enthused, does he? Okay, uh, I'm gonna do one more, um, and then I'm gonna call it a day. So, uh, animated esports sign. Uh, create a working design for this product to view histograms and leaderboards. So Joe says, it begins. I got us an incredible deal with a major esports personality, the Solid Steel Gamer. Her teams contracted with us to make light up signs that actually animate for her fans. As long as we can keep the cost down, they're going to want tons of these to hand out at matches. Uh, so G is saying, look simple, just a few states. Just a few states. Okay, animated esports design. Open design. Okay, right. So click zero and click one are simple outputs connected to display segments corresponding to a clicking animation. 
Okay, drink zero, drink one, and drink two are simple outputs connected to display segments corresponding to a drinking animation. So these are all outputs. Control the display segments with fixed repeating signals as indicated in the verification tab. Okay. Holy hell. This got complicated. <clears throat> Um Okay. So click 0 and click 1 are the inverse of each other. Drink 0 1 and 2 are a bit more complicated. Okay. I think this is going to be a bit of a chore but Let's uh, let's have a look. I think I need one of these, right, to get to get going. I don't need a I don't need a P zero, do I? What um, can I not? I guess I can shove that in there. I guess it's supposed to mimic the chassis. I mean, you could go nuts with all of the uh, part not on board. I can't. I don't think I can get. Yes, I can get in there. Oh, hang on a minute. I need two outputs. Hmm. Wait a minute. What What the heck? Right-clicking uh, gets rid of these things. Okay, let me move this. Can I... Is P0 only an input? Can I output to it as well? I wonder. So if I... Um, I wonder if... If I... If I... Um, so... Test... Equal ack zero. Then move one hundred to P zero. Else no. Else move one hundred to P one. Hang on a minute, I need to do move 0, P1, and then move... I can't type today, right? Move 0, P, P0. Oh, come on. <laughs> P0, sleep 1. Okay, is that going to work? Let's have a look. Why isn't that working? No, that's right. If if the accumulator is zero, move a hundred to P zero. Move zero to P one. Oops. That should have a neg in it. Okay. And then I need to move one. To act, uh, hang on a minute. That's not right. Let's get the, get the code blocks right. So uh, plus move. If it's if it's zero, do all of that, and then move one to act. To act, and then otherwise move zero. Okay. What about that? Is that going to work? Yeah. Yeah. 230 power though. <laughs> okay. Reset that. Now, the com more complex one here, I think. <sighs> How am I going to do this? Right. I mean, I could, I could possibly use the MC6000, right? Okay. Because it's got this dat on it which I guess I could store a value on uh, 
Actually, there's a state block, isn't there? So I wonder... I wonder if I can... I mean, I've done this. I don't know if changing act to state is it is it actually a thing? Hang on a minute. Oh uh, no, that's just the state, right? Okay, okay, all right. So state is um is a d different term there. Um, I I wonder if I can get away with just using this. No, no matter what I do, I'm going to have to have two, two of these, I think. Right. So, but can you can you not orient these in a different way? Okay. Why can't I move it? So. I wonder. I can't really use the first one because the output is like really like up and down all the time. So this basically drink zero it's gonna be on for one, two, three, four, five, six and then off for one, two, three, four, on six, off four. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to say if if the accumulator is equal to zero, I get I'm you know I'm, I'm using that as a as a storage, aren't I? But I mean I've done that in the previous one. So if if that the accumulator is equal to zero, we want to push. Like move um, 100, whoop, 100 to say P1. Yeah, and then yeah, don't worry about that for now. Thank you. Um, and then sleep for four, uh, six. Uh, no, I don't want to. No, I don't want to do that just yet. I need to move one to the accumulator uh, within that same block. And then um, otherwise, we're going to move zero to P1. Uh, then move zero to AC. And then sleep for four. Now that's going to do that first. That's going to do that first pattern, right? So let me move this board. To be honest, this could go down here, right? And then I can move this down here. Over a bit. Over a bit. It's quite chunky, <laughs> chunky way of doing it. Right. Um, hmm, so drink zero would be, for argument's sake, this. And let's just verify that. Yeah. Okay. So that works. And then. So we need a state sending out to this one to say when we're in this dip. So if we're in that dip, so if we're not in the dip, we want to move uh, let's say let this I don't know if this will work as a signal. So let's move uh, move one. So if we're not in the dip, we'll move zero to x1. Okay, and if we are in the dip, we'll hang on, we'll move 
Hang on, can I shortcut that somehow? It says the pin's not connected. Can I move? I, can I just? Yeah, I can shortcut that. I can. I know. Um, well, I, I guess it would change my test anyway. But basically, uh, I can just say if I move that plus plus sleep six down there, and then in here, I can say move ac to x one, and that means I then know. Okay, well that's a, that's a problem. That is a problem. Okay, let's move that there. Let's get rid of all of this. Okay. Okay. Let's think about our board design here, because I can't really have that all the way down there either. That's got to be like there, I think. Um, these two need to going to be like. If I did that, then this can be P0 instead. P0. And then connect. I can't connect P0 to drink. What the heck? I'd have to do this, which is a bit shoddy. Get rid of that. There, then that. There. X one, X zero to X one to X zero. Okay, so we've moved the state of that's in ACK that we're storing in ACK over to this other module. Now, <clears throat> we basically want to repeat a bit of the um, logic we kind of had in the other one really anyway uh, so test equal to uh, one which would say it's in this this early part here uh, actually we'll just say test equals zero No, I'm going to say test equals one. We'll sleep for one. Test equals, uh, oh, hang on, I'm being a bit dumb here. X zero. Test X zero equal to one. Test X zero equal to zero else move zero to p zero I haven't got enough instructions move 100 to p one I've got no more instructions so how the heck am I going to do this I think, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to delete all of this, right? Um, if I've got a signal from from the previous board, I'm in to this little section here, right? So if that's the case, I want to move 100 into ACK, right? Now. I think I'm on the right track, right? Okay, so I, you know, getting a signal from the other board to signify when we're in this this dip. I think I think that's the right move, but is getting it to do this efficiently. So I've got enough lines here to do it. I wonder. 
If I change... If I change that... I don't need to... In fact... Here... I don't need to... I can just knot it, right? Knot. And then move act to x1. Let's see. I just want to see what that does. Part not sleeping. What? What's it talking about? Pause, reset, go. Oh, right, okay. I need to put a command in the other one. Hang on a minute. Uh, sleep one. Okay, let's just do that. Um... What? Right, okay. <laughs> We're kind of getting there. Right, so I just need to figure out when to go up and when to go back down. P1, sleep 2, move X0 to P0 again. Now obviously I've got to reset P0 and P1 on the, on the transverse. Sleep, sleep 1 again. And then I've got to move X. I've got to move zero to P one. Move zero to P zero. See, I haven't got enough lines. Okay, I've decided that trying to get the sleeps to marry up um, and using the signals is probably overcomplicating things too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove remove that operation to send the signal, um, and then let's move move this a minute. Actually, I don't need to move that a minute. Let's leave it leave it there for a minute, and then I think let me just verify that that. Yeah, I don't need to do that for a minute. Uh, let's just see how that goes. Okay, so that first one is working fine without any signal out. So the second one, I need it to... Let's try and... Try and be simple with this. So sleep six... Sleep six, move hundred P zero, move. Do, I don't know that I need to do it that. Yes, I do. I think. Move. Right, let's just try it this way a minute. Um, sleep. Sleep one. Then move hundred P one. Sleep two. Why is that in oh MPV? <laughs> no. Sleep two, then move hundred P zero. P zero sleep one. What what do we get with that? Yeah, as I suspected we don't go back to zero. Can I can I fit this in now? Sleep. I don't think I can. Move zero P one. Move zero P zero. P zero. Wait. P zero. And then that's going to cause me an issue out here. I wonder if. I can simplify that first one. I wonder if I can do this. And then, hang on a minute, I'm going to take that away. Can I move that over one? No, that's going to get in the way, isn't it? I'm going to have to put that up there. 
Let's get it out of the way completely for now. And then, what? Let's do that. And then, I wonder if I can simplify this by doing that. And then shoving this in here. I'm going to have to move this up, aren't I? What do you know? That works! Okay, now I should be able to do uh, sleep 6, is it? And then move 100p1 sleep 1 move 0p1 sleep 2 move 100p1 sleep 1 Move zero P one sleep one. Oh, is that? Do I need to sleep one again there? I don't think I do. Do I? Let's have a look. Hey, we've done it! <laughs> Finally! Finally, I have done it. That has taken me so long because I I just started overcomplicating it basically. Power usage looks looks high, yeah, and I'm on the, yeah, I'm out the back end on power, uh, basically. That could go better, couldn't it? Hmm. What, what could you do to make the power better? I think... I think probably I don't need a test here, do I? I just need to. I just need to move hundred p zero. Move zero p one. Sleep one. Move zero p zero. Move hundred p one. Sleep one. That simplifies that one. Is that less powerful? Yes! Way less powerful. Those tests add a lot of power, don't they? That's better! That is better. At least we're with everyone else. There's obviously some electronics savants out there. <laughs> That <laughs> know how to uh, to get around these systems quite easily. So I, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look into how they're doing that and maybe get some hints. Oh crap! I've just done the same thing again. Hang on. I'm just gonna have to get through this. I think. I don't know. I might be able to just hit back, but I I don't don't know if that will just kill what I've been doing. Okay, return to email. Here we go. Haha, -ha, the end result looks great. Love the way it looks like it looks like love love the way it looks like the solid steel gamer is really clicking the mouse button and drinking her soda. This is going to be huge. Well, wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to call it there for this episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. And I shall see you all in the next episode of Shenzhen IO. And at some point, I will learn how to say that properly. <laughs> Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now. Human hack. What? You, what? What the hell? Acceleration. Okay.